Absolutely not, no. Okay, she's done. Um, I think this is the beginning of her usual spiral down into I need a break from the internet. Here, my prediction is we might get a video tomorrow. Um, if we do, we will likely get a community tab post the next day saying she needs a break. She needs a break from YouTube. Hello teacups, what's brewing? Uh, once again, I'm still not used to where my camera lens is. It's now down here. It used to be up there. I'm constantly looking up into that corner. I apologize. I will likely do it throughout the rest of the video. If it's irritating, eh, you're a grown up, get over it. But, or oh, click out, your choice. But it is gonna happen because I keep doing it in practice. <laughs> See, again. Uh, so today we have two cups of coffee with me. Because <laughs> I can already tell one isn't going to be enough. No, not, not for our foodie beauty. Uh, some shit's gone down, you guys, as you probably know. So I was not going to react to her last video. I was like, yeah, take a day off. I spent five to six hours trying to do international calls to various automated systems in my bank yesterday trying to talk to real people and not get disconnected and sort out something that should have been sorted out a month ago and i still don't have my 700 pounds back and so i had a pretty awful day and was not in the mind frame to be then engaging with chantelle not in any kind of balanced way shall we say so um i didn't and i was like eh, well it's a lot of what she went through in this video was very similar to what I'd said the day before, so I was just going to leave it. And then, <laughs> things escalated, and now we have to talk about it. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to put, it's going to be a long video, I'll tell you that right now, I'm going to put chapters down below in the description box. These are timestamps, and when you go along the little bar at the bottom as well, it will show you where the new chapter starts. So if you want to, if you don't care about the first video but you want to look for community tabs or whatever you'll be able to go through and just get the parts that interest you okay i'll do my best with that for you um there was one other thing we're going to start by just going through the timeline as i understand it and then uh the video that i wasn't going to react to before um i'm just going to do a quick recap of i've got some notes not to steal Steve Stick from Smokey Steve and Mark, but I don't think I want to do a full react to it today, but I'll hit some major points. And then we're going to look at the community post. We're going to look at the deleted video with the New York Fries mukbang. If you missed that one, oh, it was a treat. And uh, just the current state of things, I suppose. <laughs> the current state of things. So this is, you know, strap yourself in. We're going to be here a while. So I'll pull some pictures from the video, but basically what happened, as far as I understand it, remember I'm in a different time zone here, so sometimes I miss shit, but she uploaded a video that I did actually watch in real time called uh, Pizza, Friend, Foe, or Just Food, and referencing the pizza she had ordered. Uh, I get the impression feeling a little bit smug because she hadn't eaten it the previous night. Um, I mentioned my concerns with the things she was eating and some of the language she was using in the video before that, my last react, and my concerns are still there. So I've got some notes. The breakfast seemed to be fine. It's her usual thing of cereal, fruit, almond milk, and she had some eggs. So she hit all her five a point. She had some good protein in there. It was filling enough that she wasn't going to be hungry. Decent breakfast. Then she did the pizza. She had a lot of ketchup on it, and it turns out that the ketchup was full sugar, not the reduced sugar she had bought, or the sugar-free. Um, and that bottle looked kind of half empty. So clearly she'd been using that for a while. I think she probably used the sugar-free one the first time she bought it, and then when she put it in the cupboard, she got it mixed up. The sugar-free one didn't seem like there was much missing in it at all. So yesterday when she was talking about the sugar-free ketchup and she... She uh, logged it. It wouldn't have been sugar-free then either, I don't think. The calories for her pizza have now mysteriously gone up to 600 per half. Yesterday, she told us she had a big line... Uh, sorry. Last video, she had a big line of justification about how she had a 1,000 calorie left and she was only going to eat half the pizza 
and you know she was going to control herself she was going to bring it in even though it's a trick of food because she could do it and then it, but it was only a thousand calories if she did eat it all step by step by step she was getting closer to eating the whole thing i could feel the justification i could feel the binge coming but she held off and she did wait until the next day she did said a puzzling thing where she said well it got hard because i got hungry and yes hunger is gonna make that worse but she said I got hungry, so I ate chocolate chips, uh, a serving of chocolate chips and some pickle chips, and that, that was okay, and I went to bed. That's, then that's not hunger, those are cravings. That's where you start seeing, like being able to, to kind of take stock of yourself and say, am I physically hungry right now? Or am I just mentally wanting the food? Pickle chips, depending on how many she ate, but pickle chips and chocolate chips are not gonna fill your stomach. There's no bulk to them. There's nothing filling there. So if they satisfied you, you're indulging a craving, you're not addressing hunger. And she really needs to be careful with that because mental hunger can be tricky. I particularly had a problem with it because since surgery, my stomach rumbles all the time. Every, every minute of every friggin' day, my stomach is rumbling, whether I'm full, whether I'm hungry, whether I'm indifferent. And so because before surgery, that was a physical cue of hunger. I, I would genuinely think I was physically hungry when I wasn't. And it can only be harder for her because, you know, she, she's, so, she's so used to being hungry all the time. She's not gonna sit and differentiate it really. So if, if she was addressing it with such a small amount of food, it wasn't a physical hunger, try not to indulge it. Uh, but as I say, the quality of her food was bound to make her crave other foods. Because pizza, however much you eat of it, pizza is essentially bread. There's a little bit of protein in the cheese, but it's essentially bread, especially as hers was a vegetable pizza. So once the initial fullness of that has passed, there's not that much for her body to hold onto and to keep with her. There's nothing to keep her really satiated in the future. So um, I'm not surprised she was having at the very least some mental cravings and maybe even some physical ones because she wouldn't stay full on that long term. Um, she also mentioned she was feeling anxiety and I just wrote it's not the world, it's you. <laughs> um, that sounds harsh, there's a lot going on in the world right now but her world, how she lives it hasn't really changed. She does her videos from indoors, she eats at home there hasn't been a big shift in her world. And that's not to belittle the difficulty a lot of people are facing, I think, that I myself has faced, with even if you weren't planning on going out, not having the choices a little bit different. So I do have some sympathy for the fact that the world is a strange and terrifying place at the moment, but I, I don't let it account for the feeling she's having, because a few seconds later, like she goes from saying, well, the world is hard, and so I'm finding things hard, to, I'm feeling this way and the world is making it worse. And I definitely think it's the latter and not the former. If she was feeling any kind of control within her her day-to-day -day life, it possibly wouldn't be impacting her as much. I think it's just one stone out of that particular wall. Oh, and she's already talking about binging. She's already talking about how she wanted to eat the pizza and she wanted, there was something else I think, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, she mentioned exercise, getting like a foot paddle thing called a QB, which I'm guessing is some kind of brand name for that. Essentially, it's like the pedals of a bike and you can just, um, you can sit and do them. It's a seated exercise. I'm going to talk a bit more about my, uh, my thoughts about her exercising in a little bit, so we'll save it for them. Uh, she then made a simply enormous protein cake. I'm confused by that for several reasons. One, she tried this protein cake and she did not like it. She didn't like it before, so why is she doing it again? She says it's 246 calories, but she's made it in a casserole bowl. You guys, she shows it, I, it should be in the picture. I'm sorry, there's no way that was one serving. I mean, we've got eyes. We saw her make it in the little, well, little green bowl before, and it didn't go that deep, and it still looked very dry and very crumbly and not that nice. But um, that's up to her. But she still, she still showed us that portion when she was measuring it out. And there's no way that portion became that casserole dish. I'm sorry, no. Not with like a tablespoon of coconut flour 
and a quarter cup of almond milk. I, I do not believe it. I do not believe that at all. Um, so I suspect that was multiple portions. She might have baked it flat in the casserole dish so it's more cookie-ish. But frankly, she doesn't like it. She said she's worried about her protein goals. She needs to replan her food if she's not meeting her protein bowls, bowls, her protein goals because eating protein would be less triggering and a lot more satiating for her. It would be much better if she was getting that from a more traditional protein source, I think. She's not a bodybuilder. She's not an exercise hound. She doesn't need to have excess protein. She can get it from her diet if her diet is correct. Um, if you don't like it, don't eat it is something I put here because why waste those calories? It's 250 calories. You could have something quite satisfying for that. Okay, moving on to the arm workout. And this is where I want to talk about that paddle thing. If she is doing this as extra workout, as extra exercise in addition to her walk, which she does claim to be, she said she was going for a walk later with Pete. We don't see it in this video. Um, I get the impression she's not comfortable filming her local area because people look at the pictures and are like, oh, that's where she lives. And um, like, I understand the dangers of putting that on the internet. So I don't blame her for not wanting to do that. I was happy to hear her say, you know, then I can sit on my own step. I can use the one. You're like, I've said before, she needs to just be walking around her apartment block because then she's got all the facilities nearby. She can have a rest when she needs to, she can use the bathroom and that's just going to encourage her to go further because she has those facilities and doesn't have to worry about urgently needing to go to the bathroom or sit down. Um, with her arm exercise workout and with the foot thing, I think they're all fine if they're extra but they're not going to be burning calories. That's not the benefit. Um, well. The amount of calories she's going to burn doing the foot thing, doing the arm thing, is going to be negligible. But I do think it would be incredibly useful to her and beneficial to her just to keep mobility because she is so close to being immobile. I don't think she really sees it. I know she, like she said, oh, I've got to walk her so I can walk further. And we'll see what happens with that. I've got my suspicions. I've already spoken to you about them. But I think the benefit of just keeping her limbs moving as an extra every day is a very good thing for her and I would love her to do it regularly. But if it starts slipping into, I'm gonna do these arm lifts and I'm gonna do this foot thing instead of walking, I'm going to do this instead of something that pushes me harder and might actually burn a few calories and increase my endurance. Or if it becomes, well, I did both of these or one of these, so I'm going to reward myself and more food starts creeping in, then I think it's going to be quite a big problem. So keep an eye on it. Um, she then tells us she's going to have quite a hefty dinner. Even though she said that, she's talking already about the snack she's going to have later. That doesn't really show a great mindset with this. She's not in a very mentally dedicated place to what she's doing right now. She's gonna have a hefty dinner, wait and eat that and see how you feel, see if you need those snacks. But she's already planned them. That's what I talk about when I talk about her binges and decisions already having been made. These are examples of that because essentially she's saying it doesn't matter how I feel after I've eaten, I'm gonna eat these things, even though likely they will go over her calorie limits for the day. Her dinner, <laughs> Again, just just English lessons with MT, Worcestershire. It's Worcestershire sauce, not Worcestershire. That's not how you say it. There's a few words that, that American people, Canadian people really have struggles with. And I've said it before, I'm surprised. Um, I'm surprised she does because Canadians tend to be a bit better at it, I find. But just a little learning British with MT. We've got Worcestershire sauce. We've got the word Warwickshire, not Warwickshire. Um, Gloucestershire usually gets people as a place name. And oh, Edinburgh. We don't say borough usually, we say borough. Okay, so there you go. There's, there's my little PSA for you. Also, fuck you guys, I'm having barbecue sauce, real barbecue sauce on my chicken because if I have more stevia, I'm gonna hurl. That was puzzling because the idea of the stevia was in the sugar-free, was in the sugar-free uh, ketchup, which it turns out she wasn't eating. 
So the only stevia she had had was uh, in that cake thing she'd had, which didn't look very pleasant quite often, but it's not like she was overdosing unless she had it in something else. I don't know if she'd had maybe coffee that day with stevia in. Personally, I think there are better sweeteners out there than stevia. I find stevia tastes very bitter in my mouth. I'm one of those people who just kind of process the taste a little bit differently and I can't eat it. So feel free to try a different sweetener if you think it's gonna be easier to put into your routine. Uh, she showed us the macros for a dinner and did not list the chicken in it. When you look at the close-up of her macros, it doesn't have those ingredients. Um, I did notice her dinner was now on a side plate, which I or a smaller plate, which I thought was really good. I suggested that before and she did it. Guys, what's going on? I realize I'm sitting here and I wear a wig, so you know, glass houses and stones. What's happening with her hair in that last clip? It's all kind of bunched up here and looking super kind of frizzy. Like, it, it's weird. It's not how it usually looks. Like, is it just, my hair's shaved under here. I don't have a lot of experience of real hair. So is it just greasy? Is that what that is? Is there some product in it that hasn't got like, did she take a nap? It looks like it's scrunched up. I don't know what's going on there. So that's the recap of the first video. <laughs> Let me just pull up the community tab. <laughs> Apparently I was feeling a little bit savage when I saved that file and I called it Delusional Puppet. Uh, just so you know, the last time she turned off her comments was on the 11th. And this is from between the 15th and the 16th. So, foodie beauty, get your neck braces ready. Hey guys, I don't think I have the mental energy to do a video today. Being totally honest, I hit a wall. More specifically though, I am not happy doing these videos. I think it's because, if I am honest, I feel like I'm doing them for you and not for me. Already there's quite a lot to unpack. When she says I hit a wall, she means she's binged on something. This is textbook, I've had a binge. I don't want the accountability of coming on screen and talking about it. I feel bad because I have no justification it's gonna be bad and I don't, I, don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. And she has the right to, to say, you know, I, I don't wanna put this on YouTube, but in which case, stop putting it on YouTube. Um, I think if I'm being honest, I feel like I'm doing them for you, not for me. Again, no, no you're not. All the physical limitations and the dangers you are in, they're for you. She does have, and this is an ongoing problem for her, she has a problem where she still thinks this is about her getting skinny. She still thinks this is about her being a thinner YouTuber and looking good. When she is so far past the point of that being important. Frankly, if she, look, if she lost 250 pounds right now, she would look like a melted candle because I'm um, no word of a lie, that's what I look like before I have my skin removed. So there's this kind of, like, yes, you can tuck it in, you can hide it, you can look a lot better, and it's a much better problem to have than the fat, but she, it, this isn't about, oh, well, I'm trying to fit society's ideals of how I should look, which is how she's still taking it. It's, it's literally her trying to save her own life here. And, and she doesn't always connect those things. She pushes aside the important things and focuses on that. Sure, I want to stop binge eating, just, you know, casually. But when I start a new journey, I start to feel uncomfortable after a few days. Well, yes, <laughs> that's how dieting works, by the way. With any goal that's kind of hard, you will have a few days of just sort of the high of starting the honeymoon of saying, yeah, I'm doing the thing. But that goes quite quickly. Yeah. <laughs> we call things like that a honeymoon period, but after a honeymoon, there's a marriage. And that's a bit harder, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and that's why setting up good habits and being consistent is so important. Because after a few weeks, the consistency of those habits, of it becoming a habit, will push you through when you don't feel like doing it, but she never really gets to that point. Some will say this is normal, well, yep. But like I said, I don't think I am being honest by doing this journey or trying to in the way that most people expect. Measuring down to the sources, I mean, when you eat 17 of them, yes, you have to measure down to the sources. 
Uh, almond flour substituting anything, everything. We have not asked you to do that. Stevia, stevia, stevia. You've been eating full sugar cho chocolate. Full sugar. Oh, it was the chocolate. That was the other stevia thing. Ah, there we go. I mean, how much had she eaten? It was 50 grams for a portion. She said she'd had a portion. Stevia, stevia, stevia. Find another sweetener that tastes better. I don't like stevia. I don't use it. Intermittent fasting. You haven't been doing that. What the fuck are you talking about intermittent fasting? Cutting all the carbs, you haven't been doing that either. And you don't need to do that either. You were eating perfectly reasonable portions. Like, you, yes, for diabetics, cutting the carbs might be useful. But if you're eating them in proper portions at proper times of the right kinds of carbs, it's not that big a deal to have carbs in. It's just any diet works if you do it consistently. So just do what you were doing. I just find this kind of thing tedious and boring. Well, no, I mean, the amputation saga will be more interesting, I'll grant you that, but maybe not in the way you'd like it to be. Oh, this is so loud, sorry guys. I do feel pressured to prove weight loss to strangers on the internet. Well, that's entirely internal to you. I feel pressure. You came on here saying you wanted the accountability of that pressure, and then you say you feel overwhelmed. And then you join something or you do something that gets you an enormous amount of support, and then you say you feel overwhelmed and then people start hating on you for doing X, Y, Z, and you say you feel overwhelmed. Like, at some point internally, you've got to deal with the fact that if you set yourself any goal, there's going to be a certain amount of expectation for that goal if you do it publicly. And how you've done this so many times and not figured that out yet, I really don't know. In a perfect world, I wish fat people were not discriminated against for how we live our lives and how we eat, and people respected our privacy with this issue. If you were a fat person on the street, I would not barrel you down and be like, eat less carbs. I went onto a public social media platform where you had posted your weight loss and I comment on it. I don't need to respect your privacy if you're saying, hey, come and consume this and give me money for it, which is what you do when you put it on a public platform and you monetize it. So if you want privacy with that issue, you have to stop your channel. There's no, there's no if, ands, and buts about that. But to, to come onto a public social media, offer up what you're doing, and then complain that people are watching it, I think doesn't make sense. Um, also, in a perfect world, I wish fat people were not discriminated against. Honey, one, the world is not perfect, and that discrimination does exist, rightly or wrongly. But this isn't an issue of the world. This isn't an issue of society, bring me my fating couch. Like, this is an issue of you. Because as you've said multiple times, there are other fat people on the internet who don't get the judgment you get. Because you're facing immediate serious health concerns. You can't, like, let's forget the diabetes for a minute. You can't walk more than a few steps without your back being incredibly painful. You heavy breathe looking at a camera while sitting down. You can barely bend to get things. You have chest pains, you have high blood pressure, and you've gotten to the point where grocery shopping is too uncomfortable for you. That is why you get criticism, because you come on crying about these things. You come on saying you wanna lose weight. You come on saying how badly this is affecting your li life and how things are gonna bury you. And then you complain that people people expect you to do something about it? That's not how this works. <sighs> I feel pressured to do weight loss content because it's the only way I get support from anyone on this platform. Well, you also feel pressured when you get that support. You've had, what, two times now when you've said it's too much pressure when people support you? Like, that is not the issue here. I feel like just, like just another weight loss diet world puppet. Like, who the fuck do you think is pulling your strings here? If you are investing too much of your actions into the opinions of your comments, that is 100% a you issue. 100%. Don't do that. Say, I've got a doctor's plan, I've got X, I've got Y, I've got Z, and do it. But you put the comments on, and you've disabled them now. But you choose what it is you do. No one's sitting next to you pulling the strings. You do them yourself. And this is just another way for you to take responsibility off yourself. My audience is forcing me to do this. We're not forcing you to do anything. And I am even more miserable now than ever. You're miserable because you've just binged on whatever you've binged on and you realize there is no explanation that people are going to accept. That is what you're sad about because you always feel, and not just you, in general, 
we always feel, I'll say we, that's probably more accurate, incredibly defeated when we give in to our cravings, when we give in to our binging. And that's hard, but it is part of the process of addressing it. Those fallbacks, those slip ups, those episodes, it is all part of moving past it. And four days in, when things are getting hard, is it so unbelievable that you might struggle with that? There isn't a switch that you can go, I will be perfect from now on. It's a process. And you, you may get there, but you're bound to have these moments. And she's already scrubbed the video. Whenever she has them, she won't acknowledge them. She just tries to sweep them under the rug and you can't learn from them that way. You really can't. I think I will just start doing whatever content I want to. And if people don't like it, then oh well. That won't last five seconds. And actually, I'm saying this with the benefit of hindsight, knowing all our weight loss videos are back up. I just can't seem to learn that the only person in life I need to please is myself. I mean, I consider maybe trying to please your doctor so that you can have a life. That would be something that would concern me. I'm also not going to apologize for letting people down. I guarantee, if she addresses it in her next new video, uh, not the next video I'm gonna react to, but whatever new one she puts up, if she addresses it, instead of just brushing over it like she did before, she will apologize. She'll be like, oh, I'm sorry for the whiplash. I'm also not gonna apologize for letting people down if I do by making this declaration because I will no longer feel sorry for living my life how I want to. Would you get out of your goddamn victimhood? Oh, I'm just so put upon, I can't live my life. I mean, you can't live the life your way you're going on. You're, you're not living life here, you're planning death. But either way, you have so much more responsibility in your life than you give yourself credit for. And you do so purposefully because you're saying, well, I can't do anything because the audience, but you know, keep giving me money because, because that's my source of income. Develop a different source of income or accept the fact that you have an audience. You don't have to listen to any of us but accept the fact that you have one and you chose that. So that was the community post. The community post is now gone. In fact, her whole community section has now been scrubbed. And we, shortly after that, she put up another video. And that video was up for a while and now is down. So we're gonna do a react of that.